felt like a really fast turn. Maybe not. I've been enjoying it thus far, at least. Okay, so a whole bunch of stuff done. Yeah, I need to upgrade the design. Uh, we can do that by... Hold on. We're almost done with the... I'll show the tech tree next turn. We can research larger holes that can allow us to fit more stuff on them. That's the thing. All right. So move there. That crystal's still in range. That planet's in range. Can't colonize it. But I like the idea of building the starbase here. Starbase. Okay. All right. Culture ring. All right. Just pumping out culture here. <laughs> Star bases are too hard to kill when the game first starts. Eventually they become strong enough. Uh, as tech, military tech increases. Now I don't know what we can do with this thing. Pino Xeno Archaeology Module. Oh, here it is. I don't know what this thing does, but we probably should... We probably should get the Cultural Forum and the Xeno Archaeology Lab. Alright, so we can't, um, can't quite get over there yet, but uh, with the double constructor... Wait, I built a double constructor? I thought I built a normal one. Oh, well. oh wait, no, I can get over here. Cool. I can get over here, apparently. Appar oh, okay, so star bases apparently extend your range. Nice. That's cool. So I, apparently I can send a double constructor over here. Cool. Awesome. Now it's going to take a while to get over there. I actually thought I was building a single constructor. So the double constructor can grab both of those upgrades at that starbase there. So AI intelligence level determines how the AI plays. Okay. Yeah, I am on normal. Yeah, I know that the, that's right. I think it does give me... Wait, what the... How do I have a double constructor and a... Oh, no, I guess I just built it that fast. Okay. Apparently, I just build stuff really fast. And the star bases do cost money. Note that my income's going down. Of course, I'm also building tile improvements, too, and that also drops it. All right, let's see what happens when we go in here. Yes, engage. All right, so... Three pirates. One. It's a shame that they uh, have lasers, and I have defense against mass drivers, so... Let's see what happens. The big thing that helps is I've got the extra hit points. But I don't know if I'm going to win this. Wait, what just happened? Apparently we won the battle because we got the reward before the battle itself started, which is bizarre. So here's the space combat. By the way, okay, so by the way, you don't control combat at all. It's all automated. We killed one of their ships already. Our missiles, the missiles. So we have lasers, missiles, and mass drivers all on this ship. All right. So we're killing their. All right. So we killed two of their little scouts, and of course their offense drops as their um, ships get killed. It seems like the larger ship holes definitely are better than the small ones. Oh, here we go, zooming in. All right, so, yeah, we won the battle. We took 60 damage. That's a lot of damage. That ship's pretty heavily damaged now. But we did kill them. I knew we won the battle because we got the reward before the battle even started. And you can see the result. Uh, you can watch the turn-by-turn -turn stuff if you want. All right, so we got another ship. We got a... S Wait, what did we just get? Achie Wait, we got an achievement for that? Man. All right, so... This ship's now damage. It's at 30 out of 90 HP. And we got another survey ship. Another survey ship, but this one has no weapons or armor on it whatsoever. No uh, weapons on it. Alright. Interesting. Yeah, it has no weapons on it. Alright, let's just merge them together, because why not? <laughs> Get the extra HP. Gives the enemy another target to shoot at. Um, so here's a question I have for the chat. How do you repair ships once they get damaged? I wasn't exactly sure how to do that. I'm going to send them back to my colonies to try and repair, but I don't know how you do that. Someone in the chat I'm sure will know, because we have some, looks like some people are more experienced than I am. There's a resource, Illyrium. I don't think we'll be claiming this one, though. Unless we send a starbase, like, deep into enemy territory in a real dick move. Yeah, the achievement, like, if, it, if it's, like, a legit achievement, 
that's cool, because, like, there's stuff that's hard to do, but if it's just like, oh my god, you don't totally suck at this game, then I find that to be kind of annoying. They repair on their own faster in orbit around a planet. Oh, okay, that's kind of interesting. So you don't do anything? Yeah, I, I, I actually tried, tested this out on my, on my playthrough. Alright, so let's send it back to our, maybe, well, I'd like to go to these planets, but they've got ships buzzing around everywhere. They repair one per turn or four per turn next to a planet. Okay, well, we better send it back to this planet for repair. Okay, and it's something else that tech can improve. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, um, where are we on the map? Oh, yeah, this guy is going over in this direction to push on Iconian and Thalen space. Oops. Cool. Okay. Alright, and this colony just upgraded... All right, how's approval? Approval's good for the moment. This is Scorpius, which is an influence. Oh, wow, we just tossed out triple influence buildings. Jeez. Now, remember, high approval does add to influence as well, so another sign of why morale is important. All right, so what do we want to do with the rest of this planet? Well, we kind of got some free space here. I don't think we need even more influence. Maybe we just toss down a couple. Let's get a couple. Um... Oh, well, we can try out a missionary center. Let's test this out, because we haven't done this before. Get the bonus to influence. So can we terraform and... Yeah, alright, so let's terraform this and we'll put it down on that tile. Let's try that out. Get one of these and then we'll get that influence going. That's kind of cool. Alright, this is Thor. Thor is a research planet. Okay, so did we upgrade the Xeno Medical Center? Yes, we did. Farm approvals at 100% for the time being. Uh, let's get the Morale Center now before I forget about it to keep it at 100%. Toss that down, and then it's research, 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 and we'll go with, go from there. Okay. A lot of planets finishing their stuff this turn. Okay, so we got the Xeno Medical Center. Approval is good for the time being. Actually, let's keep it that way. Put down the Entertainment Center, so why not? And Vault is going to be uh, money. That's the thing. Not a great, won't be a great planet for that, but make some money. Alright. Clearing up that little patch of space. Okay. Alright, so the United Planets have met. Relations at war. We're not at war with the Kryn. Allied, close. Strength, weaker. Strength, weaker. Furious at war. Trust, warm, weaker. Everybody's weaker. Uh, who should be the leader? I think we should be the leader. For 100, wow, for 104 turns. That's a long time. Alright. So we won. Not surprising, we have the most votes. The Kryn, according to that, are at war with me. But we're not actually at war. <laughs> I don't quite understand that. We're not actually at war with them. Anyway, they're first or second in almost everything, so that's obviously not great. But... Now that we've got another one of these techs. Alright, so what is the tech we just picked up? Let's look at that, shall we? Influential voice. Alright, so this... Oh, wait, no, we need to go one more. That's right. Choose next tech. We need um, this, cultural influence. That's the one we wanted for the cultural center. We still have no military stuff whatsoever, but you know, we should be okay for the time being. Alright, and these ships are going back to heal. They actually do have weapons on them, so I can just automate them. Idle ship, okay. Steer around that nebula or whatever it is. Alright. Ship graveyard. Okay. So there's another hostile world. Ymir. Nice name for a planet, by the way. Continuing to scout out. Alright. That's a starbase control. Uh, I hope that they don't put a starbase down right there. That would be annoying. Okay, Scorpius. Um, oh, yeah, this is the influence planet. That's right. Oh, that's right. We just put down. Oh, yeah, we. Uh, I just did this last turn. We wanted the missionary center on this tile right here. I couldn't put it down last turn because I needed to do the terraforming. Alright, and Vault, we want the market centers. 
all the remaining tiles. Work on them. Alright. Did I move this? Oh yeah. It's in the process of moving. Well, let's move it manually just in case that... want to make sure we don't hit a... There's a pirate over there. Maybe you should invent a weapon greater than fists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should. How close are we to getting this? Okay, nine turns, that's a little long. Maybe we go for the... actual weapon systems. Because that's a lot cheaper tech to research. Four turns remaining. We don't have much in the way of research going on right now. In part because Mantis is upgrading, almost done upgrading its labs. So this planet... getting lower on approval. Actually, this planet's not happy at all. Hmm. Well, when we get the next terraforming, we'll put down a morale booster here. I didn't put one down on this planet because uh, it's so small. But yeah, the morale is kind of an issue here. Well, there's some morale techs in the tree, too. Can always work on that. Might be a good time to put down some... Yeah, we are going to need to start building some ships. Let's research some actual military stuff. We will have to defend what we've done. All right. You can't just be a dick and go around tossing down star bases right in somebody's front yard door, like, constantly with nothing to back that up. Alright, um, now well, let's push it a little bit further. A little bit closer towards them. Our culture is pretty overwhelming right now. Alright, um, so this is... We still don't have any military stuff. Alright, I don't think we need any more constructors just yet. Because I just built yet another one. This one's going up here into this corner of the map. Unless I want one... Well, let's let's see what we scout out. Alright. We'll see. Um, I don't think I want any more star bases just yet. Actually, no. I need one more double constructor for this star base up here. And then we'll look to... Alright, so double constructor. To, um... Because this is going to need... Uh, a cultural one, an influence one, and also we'd like, we'd like to mine the Durantium. Is that what it's called? Durantium? Whatever it's called. I'll learn the names with time. Okay. Hmm, Thalens look like they have some more decent number of planets over here. Alright. Oh, they have a morale route. Ooh. Oh, man. It's a shame that, um... It's a shame that I don't have this in range. That would be nice. Oh, they, so they have a star base. Well, that's fine. This will be in my influence eventually. Like, with, uh, with all my influence pushing on this, I'll gain control of this territory in time. One cool thing is you can see the cultural percentage on the tiles. Like, this right here is Kryn, 100%. Here's my... Wait, that's outside anyone's influence. 100%. You can see how much culture this is 10.8 you can see exactly how much culture is on these tiles yeah that approval relic would be nice um in particular for poor little mantis okay this ship yeah all right so we're exploring 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 double constructor is still coming over here but there were some pirates in the area so i'm trying to be cautious with that one all right so what did we just upgrade here i think we just upgraded the Research lab. Alright, so now, time to get the research labs on the rest of the planet. Do we have a morale building on this planet? Yes, we have an entertainment center. So we've got morale buildings, that's fine. Get four research labs, and we'll probably upgrade them all from there. Yeah, Altaria is basically space elves, that's correct. Look at that, they're still adding more pirate ships there. They're just like, whatever. They can't really do anything, except attack ships. And the Thalans have more planets than I expected down here. But then again, the map, it makes sense. The map goes down a little, a little bit further. Still, I'm going to have the whole north side of the galaxy under my control. And then the other races are splitting like the bottom half, basically. I'm surprising I'm able to scout out the Kryn like this um, for the time being, although I guess that makes sense. Better to scout them out now before they actually declare war. Which they haven't done yet, but they probably will eventually. I suspect it's only a matter of time before they end the game. Come on, there we go. I 
Oh, there's an approval relic up north too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's send the let's let's send this um, constructor to go grab that because that would really help. That's actually more important than the Durantium. That's obviously good for military stuff, but we don't have an urgent need for that. Yeah, let's grab the approval relic up here. That would actually help quite a bit. We can use anything morale is great in this game. Like seriously, anything morale based is really good. Just as anything population based is really good. All right, so this planet's mostly Shark Tooth is mostly uh, filled up right now. So the next thing to do is to start upgrading these labs. We might as well do that because they're not that expensive to do. All right, upgrade, upgrade. No, 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 not that one. There we go. Wanted to do this one first because it gets the bonus. Okay. And then once this is done, we'll actually have a lot of... This will actually be do quite a bit of research. Like, if you're wondering why our research has been so poor, it's because we've been pausing to invest in infrastructure on these planets. All right. Uh, what tile do we want? This one seems pretty good. Uh, be even more aggressive. Let's go here. <laughs> it's a dick move, but that's fine. <laughs> All right. Cultural ring. There we go. And we can get another cultural ring, too. So we're going to need another constructor to get over there at some point. Build a double constructor to do it. Let me just make sure that's in the range of a double constructor. Uh, yes, it is. So once we get the starbase down, our range gets extended, and we can send a double constructor to upgrade it, which is pretty cool. Shark Tooth can still terraform. Oh, can it? That's a good... Po oh, oh, that's right. It can. All right. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Thank you. Thank you. That's a great... Great point. Um, now, can we put the... What's like the upgraded version of... All right. Where's the upgraded version? Thulium Data Archive, yes. All right, so what we want to do is we want to terraform and put this Thulium Data Archive right here when it's next to three research centers. See, great... Oh, wait, no, I don't have... Never mind, I can't do that. I don't have Thulium. Duh, okay, well, if I had the resource, I could do that. All right, but in any case, we do want to terraform this tile and put a research center on it, and then upgrade from there. That's still a good suggestion, David. <laughs> okay, so what did we just build? We built one more double constructor for this this constructor that's going up there to toss out a base. All right. And remember, there are pirates in here, so we've got to be a little bit careful. Do they still only have two moves? Yes, still only have two moves. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I want to get up there. And then this is mostly about just filling in the territory with influence more than anything else. Okay. Alright, so Altaria. Do we have weapon systems yet? No. We need one more turn. Alright. Altaria. Is there anything to upgrade here? No. Nothing to upgrade. Everything is... Everything's fine, so... Just do research for one turn then, until we get some weapons. Then we can design at least some kind of ship. It won't be an especially good ship, but at least something that has a weapon on it. <laughs> some kind of ship with a weapon, which we currently cannot do. We have one survey ship, and that's it. Durantium. Just so that the AI won't be like, hey, these guys, you know, have nothing. We don't want that. <laughs> right, you can always bulldoze the base building later. That's correct. I mean, you can always remove tile improvements. All right, so we're currently losing 16 income per turn, so Vault needs to hurry up on the market centers and, and get some of them done so that we can power the economy. Like, right now... All right, so Vault's almost done. If Let's just say, if we were to go to 100% re, um, wealth right now, we would produce... It would be enough to balance the budget, which is good enough for the time being. Obviously, those star bases aren't helping by because they all cost money. And we'll be able to upgrade the market centers later on, too. Oh, wait, we can upgrade. Oh, that's right, we can upgrade, too. That's right. We'll upgrade and um, put down another market after that. Okay. So Volt will be able to power the economy for a while. All right, come on. One more turn, and then we'll be able to upgrade that. All right, Idle Colony. Okay, so here is Mantis, and Mantis has finally finished upgrading its labs to Xeno Labs, 
which is a little slow to do, but now we get the 100% research bonus. Uh, we really want to improve morale here, because it's only at 51%. You can see that, and the population is still not maxed yet either. All right, but now we can go over to research, and 32 research per turn is pretty good for a tiny little planet like this. It's not bad. I can add a talent vault. Yes, that's right. I just picked up on that myself. All right, Shark Tooth. Um, oh, so Shark Tooth just added the... There we go. Done. Added the tile, so we'll do the research lab. And Mantis is doing research. Dobranthus is doing research as well, although not especially well. <laughs> this planet is mostly just pumping out ridiculous amounts of influence, 88 per turn. You can see we're... So what is the... All right, so like the we have 71% influence. Like this tile is... We're not there yet, but we're getting closer. We should eventually be able to start flipping some of this stuff. Yeah, I know, I know, right? Stream delay is always annoying. It happens. Oh, uh, look at this. So apparently some foolish AI has tried to chop down a starbase in my territory. That is not going to work. <laughs> not going to work at all. Anyway, so we're done. We researched the basic weapons thing. And now we can start upgrading. Let's see. What is this? Planetary defense? Uh, we probably should get the basic defense systems. Engineering is pretty useful too, so we can build small hull size. That's pretty important. The tiny actually we probably need that before we do anything else. Tiny ships kind of suck. <laughs> They're not very good. You saw what happened when I fought those little enemy ships. Alright, well let's do the defense systems first. And let's see what we can design right now in terms of a, a ship that actually Yeah, now we have like a gazillion ships. Alright. Let's just start from core ship. Alright. What is this? Sudden storm? A tiny ship. So what does this have on it? It's got wait, what the Durante? Alright, whatever. Let's just do our own design. New design. Okay. Tiny all we can do is tiny for the time being. Uh, just take this one. So what can we put on here? What do we have in terms of weapons? Lasers. How much does that take up? Uh, basically takes up the whole ship. We can put two, all right, we can put two lasers on here at the cost of being able to fit nothing else. So that means it's really slow. It only has three moves, has no range, but you know what? That's fine. We don't need anything fancy on here. Just, this is just so we can build a ship that actually has weapons on it. All right, let's, let's do this. Sucky laser ship. Pretty terrible ship. Now, if I knew what weapons the Kryn were sporting, I could design a ship that works around them. Can we play Necro Crypt of the Necrodancer? Yeah, we'll probably, sure. We can do a, just a quick run or two. I want to play this for another hour or two, though. At least a few more turns, because I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Enough small ships can overwhelm a larger ship. All right. Sucky laser ship. Let's build a few of these. We're going to need at least three of them to do anything. All right. Uh, military. It's already on military. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But we're on research. We need it to be on production. Okay. 58 production per turn. How much does that little laser ship cost anyway? Sucky laser ships. They cost... Let's... All right. How much do they cost to build? 50, oh, wow. Look at this. They cost 55 to build, and I produce 55 production per turn. Well, 58. That works out very conveniently. All right. So that works. And again, I mostly just want them to be able to attack the Kryn, defend against the Kryn if they would come after me. I don't think the other two races are going to. Um, like, my relations with the Thalans are not terrific, but they're at least lukewarm towards me. Cordial. We have a slight edge, basically. Iconia is not going to attack me. They love us. That's good. Um, basically, it's just to defend against the Kryn, so I know what part of the world I like, what part of the galaxy I have to send them to. It's off on this right hand side. All right, so we'll do some of that stuff. Idle ship, okay. And we're just continuing. Yeah, so we also learned something. Scout, all right, scout ships probably do want improved sensors over improved speed. Like, the faster speed doesn't really do that much, but being able to see further is indeed a benefit. So I take back my bad mouthing of the AI design. The AI design had more sensors, and that actually is 
pretty useful. Also, the map seems to be glitching a little bit. All right. So we continue to reveal more of the galaxy. All right, so here we can finally come over here and upgrade this. So we want the Xeno Archaeology Lab. I still don't know quite what this is going to do. And the Cultural Forum. Boy, that ability to send one ship and instantly upgrade two things is awesome. Scanners would be... You know what? We need to build a scanner ship, too. There we go. Done. And I'm going to find out what my racial ability does in a minute here, too. All right. Uh, so we're still trying to run this constructor over here. Oh, hello, Pirate Fleet. I can't read. They only have two moves, though. Thank goodness. Maybe we can send some of our laser ships to come chase these pirates away. All right. Probably move like one or two more tiles. I want this in range, but I also want to get as far away from my existing influence as possible. All right. And here's the double. All right. The double constructor is coming up here to improve that because I'm going to want to mine the approval relic first, and then I want double cultural relics, double culture on that afterwards. Okay. All right, so Shark Tooth, time to upgrade all these labs, right? Fortunately, they're not that expensive to do. All right, four, three, two, one, one. Do them in the order that gives the most benefit. Not that it really matters because I'm not researching. Hey, Rayson. Hi, Sir System Error. I think Sir System Error has been here a while. All right, so what do we do? We got the. Influence and Scorpius was going to. What else was Scorpius going to do? I, oh, this is the influence planet, right? Scorpius. Yeah, this is our another influence planet. Um, not that I really need too much more. It's in, unfortunately, this is in a corner of the map where the influence doesn't really do that much. But I suppose it'll be good for tourism later. Alrighty, uh, we'll just put research labs down on the rest, right? Because we, do we have the entertainment center? No, we don't. So get the entertainment center to keep morale up. We're gonna need it. And then we'll just put down research labs on the other tiles, because why not? We'll do a little research here as well. I don't think we need more than triple consulates here. Oh, and we also have the missionary center, so now we're going to slowly produce um, benevolent culture, those culture points for ideology. We have 10 points to spend. This is what this is the next one that we want. All planets and star bases within our influence join our civ. That's going to be very helpful. Since we have, uh, the AI likes to plant down star bases inside your influence range, which is pretty silly. Uh, oh, and this, this planet's done, so we're going to put down... What's that? It's the entertainment center. All right. What kind of an awkward... This planet's tiles are really awkwardly set up. All right, put that down, and then we'll mark it center on that tile. That's the idea. All right. Okay, so let's see. We're going to keep this ship. Let's see how fast this heals. Is there a command that's just like stay here and... All right, guard. That'll work. Um, yes, yeah, so the idea is just to stay in the area. Wait, do they have to be in the planet's tile? Oh, wait, no, wait. Ugh, they're not next to my planet. They're next to the empty planet. Okay. All right. All right, so we finished the defensive system and now I want to get these uh, small holes new game yeah unfortunately the save file kind of disappeared for the other game and we don't know why probably because the game was brand new and buggy you need to be inside ah, ah, ah. okay that makes sense all right wait that ship should have moves left is it out of moves Maybe it's out of moves. Whatever. I thought it still had movement points left. I guess I was wrong. Alright. Here's the crin stuff down here. Which, yeah, it's funny because the other game that I started off stream, it popped up, you know, with no issues. But this, the initial game, uh, just disappeared. Okay. Alright. It's a shame that Durantium's not in range, too. But that's fine. We want the... Relic. All right. Command. Construct starbase. There we go. Cost me even more money. All right. The first thing we want is we want. Here we go. The Xeno Archaeology Lab. There we go. Done. Okay. So that should connect the relic, right? 
Maybe it has to wait until next turn to do that. Anyway, we should get the benefit from that soon. I hope so, anyway. That was the idea. Alright, and double constructor going up there to dump the influence on it. Okay, yes, we need the market center. Down there. Metal ship, what's this? Alright, the sucky laser ship. <laughs> Let's just keep them here for the time being. I will probably try to kill the pirate fleet at some point, just because I find them annoying. Alright, upgrade now. Just sit here and guard for the time being. Alright, so we've still got quite a bit of territory down here in the southeast to map out. But I do have a, most of the galaxy mapped pretty well, just this, this corner. That's all that I really still need. Oh, hello. They just moved a pirate ship right next to that double constructor, and that's problematic because... Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. The people who love me still love me. Alright, so this ship only has three moves, right? No. It has five... No, it only has three moves. Okay, so we're going to send these um, little laser ships to come fight and kill this. Because with only three moves, um, I can't rel I can't slip past this ship. I can run away from it, but like I can't move past it. It would just kill me. All right, so come down here. It's fine. Just chill out and wait. Hey, I actually get some use out of the military ships, right? It's amazing. They're not just going to sit there. They can actually do something. All right. Wow, more Thalen stuff. I should also probably check out what Starbase is over here at some point. Let's split these up. Alright, this one's the one that's full health. So, eject ship. This is the one that's injured. So the injured ship can go in there and heal. This one's full health. You go check out whatever this Starbase is that's heading into my territory. Alright, so this is a Durantium. Wait, what? Where are they getting Durantium from? I don't even see Durantium. Where are they getting that from? Interesting. Okay. Well, it should flip to me in time. Especially once I get that next policy in the tree. Whenever I get that next policy in the tree. Alright, so... Is that the Kryn homeworld? Yes. All right, so here's Kryn's homeworld right here, Chrysith. They're building economic stimulus. Wait, no, wait, is it? It's got the crown, so I guess it is. Economic stimulus, 17 beakers. Class 5 and class 9. Boy, those planets kind of suck. No, I didn't make the mega... Oh, you're right. Jeez, we didn't do the mega censorship. Okay, that's got to be next. All right, and Vault is ready to... Go on to money. 28. Alright, so guess what? We've run it all the way down to 150, but now we're finally set. Alright, so there's our there's our um, relics. Oh, okay, so we've got an Ascension Crystal being studied, and I see. So, because we're the... Um, because we're... What's it called? Because we're the Altarians, we get that 10% research. Normally, that would only be 10% morale. Okay. So, yeah, that will help out Mantis a little bit. It's back over 50% morale. Here it is. See, we get the plus 10%. So what, it's 5 plus 10%, so 5.5. 5. Uh, it helps, obviously. We'll need to upgrade to the get more morale stuff on the tree in time. Okay. So that's good. All right, Vault. Vault is actually... And let's put Vault on the market center. Why is it at... Why is it getting anything from research? 1.8. Is that because of the... Where, like, where is this coming from? Oh, the Ascension Crystal. We get plus one research. Okay, that's neat. So we get some research on every planet, no matter what. Five to the right of the Starbase. Wait, what's that? What's that referring to? The only non-extreme, non-homeworld planets in the entire galaxy. It looks like I might have. Hmm. Wait, what was five to the... What, David, what was the five to the right of the Starbase comment? I missed that. 
That's something over here. You'll have to explain. I'm afraid I missed that. All right, so vault. Yeah, we just want to put vault on um, the build monies, the economic stimulus, so that we'll actually remember this. So remember what it's doing, basically. This is just normal, nothing fancy. Vault, uh, yeah, vault slider should be set. So vault gets, yeah, should be should be set correctly, I think. Yeah, so our influence is definitely pumping out pretty good. All right, I want to build a couple more lasers. Oh, well, actually, let's do this. The the Durantium is five to the right. Of, oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, David. I that's what you're referring to. Okay, all right, so that's nice. We'll get this star base once um once it flips to us, which it will in time. So how can we see, hold on, how can we see the culture percentage on these tiles? All right. Here it is, okay. Yeah, the Iconians got like a little bit initially when they put the star base down, but that's going to flip to me pretty quickly. They're stealing my Drantium, well, whatever, that's fine. I wouldn't be using it for anything right now. Just get that star base eventually and save myself the cost. Okay, so this star base has the culture ring and the cultural forum. This one will need a constructor for the cultural forum. Let's design ourselves a wacky sensor. Actually, no, we're about to we're about to finish orbital manufacturing. Let's finish that tech, because then we can do a bigger um, a bigger hole size. Do the small hole size. Yeah, look at this. They are getting crushed on that. <laughs> I don't know how they can mine the Durantium when it's not even in their territory, but whatever. Apparently it's possible. Okay. So we've got two lasers, two little laser fighters up here. Alright, they only have three moves. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to stay back here for the time being. Alright, there's orbital manufacturing. Now we can do small. We can also... Oh, oh, I didn't even know you could do this. So you can build a mining barracks and you can increase the yield of a resource. So if it's like Durantium, you can build this and get plus two Durantium from it. Okay, that's cool. I didn't even know you could do that in this game, but it makes sense. Um, all right, so we probably want a little bit more military stuff. What's in the construction tree? Or similar survey. Where is the stuff where I can put culture on, um, more culture on my star bases? <laughs> That's faster drives. Ship range plus one is nice. What is an ancient studies center? I don't know what that does. Logistics plus 10, medium hull. Well, we probably don't need too much more in terms of weapons. We, we've got the basic weapons. That allows us to build some basic ships, nothing special. Let's go back to that cultural influence one. All right, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The information hub, I can upgrade my cultural star bases further and the culture center is another influence thingy. Oh, that's a start, that you put on a, I see, okay. That's another thing you can add to increase influence even further. All right, yeah, let's get that. I want those information hubs for the faster stuff. You can use the cargo hull. Can you do that? All right, well, let's see. So we can use, all right, new design. Tiny, small cargo. Oh, that's right, we can use it because it has no hit points. Oh, you're right. Gives us more space to work with. Yeah, we can do that. What's the stupidest looking ship here? This one. This looks pretty dumb. You're right. We can use the cargo thing. That's right. The car So the cargo gives you space, but it has no HP at all. So technically, you could build this ship and stick a bunch of guns on it, but it's going to die, like, instantly, which is pretty hilarious. All right. So what do we need on here? Well, we don't need much, because this is just going to sit in place, not doing anything. Sensors. Where are the sensors? Here we go. Navigational sensors, interstellar sensors. Okay. All right. All right, buddy. There we go. Sensor range. 33. We'll just get a couple of these, stick them in the corners of our empire, and we'll be able to see everything that happens across the entire map. <laughs> All right. We'll go with this. Oh, that's right. We need... Well, actually, you know what? We should put a little bit of extra range on this ship. We do need some range, not moves. We need range, so we need the life support. Because otherwise we won't be able to move. We do want to move this towards the edge of our territory. All right. I'm assuming it's a better value for the higher tier one. All right. There we go. Well, we don't need 41 range. That's... 
Actually, 22... That's probably plenty. The 22 range is probably enough. Alright, more sensors! More sensors. Alright. Build it. Alright. Ridiculous censorship. Let's do it. How much does that co ship cost, anyway? <laughs> Alright. Ridiculous censorship. 133. Build it. <laughs> so we have... Sent it has sensors that reveal stuff like 30 tiles away. I figure we want one over here. Maybe one down here. And probably one over here. Three of them will be able to reveal most of the map. I think. <laughs> I, I mean, I think it's pretty awesome that you can even do this in the game. Alright. We still have almost nothing in the way of military. Wait, what the heck? I thought I didn't move that. I didn't think I moved that ship yet. Yeah, they don't really need... Well, they need a little range because I might want... Uh, they do need a little range. and Maybe they don't. I don't know. I figure one... Getting one range upgrade is probably not the end of the world. You might be right, though. Well, that that starbase is providing Durantium and Thulium. That's a nice starbase. You could be right, though. Oh, well. Maybe we'll only have rain... Uh, maybe we'll only be able to see things 20 tiles away instead of 30 tiles away. <laughs> okay, so they have... That's their shipyard. Building something called a burden, whatever that is. Oh, they have a nice cluster here. Look at... They've got three worlds here. Alright. Well, but they're not good planets. Class 5, Class 5, Class 9. Ugh. It's weak. I thought that everybody got, like, the same starting homeworld, but maybe not. Censorship? Censorship? Yeah. Okay, this, this censorship... Or, this uh, ship has, like, nothing to do. Just move it back with the other ship in there. And chill out. Okay. Scorpius. We might as well upgrade the research labs, because why not? Alright, same thing here. Upgrade the research labs. That'll keep you busy for a while. Yeah, what, like once we actually start doing research, you might notice we've kind of delayed research for the time being. Once we actually start doing research, um... We'll have very strong research power. All right, and this ship needs to join with the other two little laser ships. There's no reason to keep them separated. We can actually stack... Oh, they only take up two logistics, so we can actually stack, what, seven of them together, if need be. All right. What the, where did that pirate go? It's right here. This game does lag. <laughs> There we go. Alright. There it is. Alright, well we'll get attacked, but we should win this battle. Oh yeah, we'll definitely win that battle. Every time it like reveals more of the map, it struggles. Okay. <laughs> redacted anti-Altarian statement. Oh, there's a black hole down there. We can't see it, but... Well, I guess we can kind of see it. Ha! Ah, we could move through their planet because we have open borders. That's pretty funny. Okay. And we're getting more of the map scouted out. This takes a while, but... There's a star base there. You know, we don't even need to build star bases for these res resources. We're just going to um, rely on the AI to build the resource star bases and then just take them from them. Take it away from them. So we're running a slight surplus here on money. And we're actually going to finish that cultural influence thing afterwards. I'm going to need to build... Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I can see half the galaxy immediately with this ship. That is hilarious. <laughs> wow, okay.
The sensor, the cargo censorship is ridiculous. Okay, that is absurd. <laughs> the ARS ridiculous censorship. <laughs> I this is hilarious. Okay, well we're just gonna move this over here and probably put it underneath the starbase so it's protected. You can move ships onto the starbase, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow, just wow, okay. And then I'll put one on this star base, and I think we only need, like, two of them. Hello. Just found another extreme world down here. I mean, this feels like hacking the game, it really does. I, I, I agree with that. <laughs> Absolutely feels like we've just hacked the game. It's pretty absurd. Alright, so we do want, I do want two more of them. I want one for this spot, and then probably one down here. And by the way, we're going to need a star base down here as well. So, um, let's build a second one for over here, and then I want, I'm going to need to build more constructors again. I also want to upgrade, because remember, the tech we just picked up, this one that gives us the information hub, that allows us to influ increase the um, constructors that much more. So I'm going to need to be cranking out more, more constructors. Alright, so that's good for right now. What do these other ones do? Oh, that upgrades the financial center. That, yeah, all this is increases trade and tourism. That's all pretty good. In the colonization, we can in get increased farms. That'll be nice. I already have xenobiology, soil engineering. What does that do? Let me just look at the trees. Hold on. One at a time here. So in colonization, we can get increased researching, manufacturing. Um, that would increase the pop cap. We're going to need that soon, but I think we might need more, more morale. Um, the fertility center... That's a little expensive right now. Oh, that gives us another tile. Oh, I can survey the things in the north. Good suggestion. That's what we can do with that survey ship. Okay. So do we want more... What do we want? Diplomacy. What does this lead to? Helps extend your... Jeez, there's a lot of... Wow. Helps extend the... Wow. Um, we should go for that because that will really influence our... Star bases. Jeez, I'm not sure I even need to do that. Also gives diplomacy plus one. Jeez, it's a lot of stuff. Or we could just get flat out plus 10% influence. All this stuff is like, there's so much stuff on this tech tree. I need extreme. Yeah, that's not bad. We could. It would be nice to colonize those planets too. How far down the tree is that? Extreme colonization. Here it is. That's not that far away. That's not that far away. What are paradise worlds? I don't even know what most of this stuff does. I'm starting to get about as far as I've made it into the tech tree. Um, I mean, as long as I'm not at war, I don't need more military stuff just yet. I have only the most basic military stuff. Engineering is more uh, military focused too. Like the engineering and warfare tend to be more of the fighting stuff. Colonization and influence tend to be more of the other stuff. Oh boy, there's so many things to pick from. It's actually kind of hard. We do want extreme colonization so we can colonize the more planets, but I think we let's maybe we pick up something in the influence tree first. This feels really good. All this stuff, exploration, embargo, third party, non-aggression pact. Where's the one that just gives this? All right, let's grab this one just for the flat 10% influence. Put the survey ships on auto survey. Maybe that might not be the worst decision at this point, because at this point it doesn't really matter if they get killed or whatever. All right, total production plus ten. That's pretty good. What does this do? Organize our government. I didn't even know you could do that in this game. <laughs> All right. Well. Jeez, there's so much stuff you can pick. It's it actually is hard to it's even hard to do that. Um, well, I actually what I think I might need is more morale stuff, which I think is on this tree. Enjoyment, yeah. I'm gonna need that. Let's go. Let's go in that direction then. All right, so we can get plus ten percent wealth. Oh, plus four morale. Okay, that's really good. Let's go for that. Plus four morale. Yeah. I'll take that. All right. We're back to the ridiculous censorship, yeah. Wait, where am I? Shipyard idle. So we built one of those. Let's get a second one. 
And I'm gonna need constructors. Like, a lot of constructors for all these influence star bases. Like, a lot of influence star bases to keep tossing out, keep putting constructors. What is that? Oh, that's the Leo. Keep um, adding more influence onto these star bases. I'm not sure I even need to explore over here. So that's it for the Kryn. They just have this little corner of the map. I don't see their culture anywhere else. Alright. Also, I'm not sure I really need to keep scouting with these ships if I'm just going to have this humongous sensor ship. Alright, uh, well, there's no mystery anymore about where this stuff's located. Can I attack that? Oh, they didn't. the pirate ship didn't attack us. Okay. I'm gonna hide right here. That pirate can't reach me. One, two, one, two. It's blocked by the fleet. All right. All right. Okay, so yeah, everything looks pretty good. How many turns does this take? Three, all right, that's not bad. But yeah, you can go off in so many different directions in this game. Oh, oh, oh he's still trying to run away. Oh, they're trying to link together their ships. Well, they're not going to be able to do that. Because we have three moves and they only have two. There we go. Pirates versus... Well, we have way more HP than they do. Pirate pirate units and all terrain units. Alright, we'll view the battle. Because we haven't seen very little combat. So, my two sucky laser ships against the pirate ship. You know, for a tiny little sucky laser ship, that looks pretty neat. Did we kill it or what? Alright, we'll take it. How much damage did we take? Six? That's not that bad. Alright. Boom. And away it goes. So is that it? Wait, I thought I would move into the tile after I killed them. Apparently that doesn't happen. Oh well. Learned a little something else. Okay, so... That only has two moves per turn. Alright. Keep getting up there. Keep scouting. Alright, yes, it's out of range, I know. I'm not even sure how necessary this is with the huge censorship on the way. Yeah, that's right, the Liam is, like, research-focused. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the Kryn just have that little corner of the map and that's it. Oh, there's one tile unrevealed. Well, there's another ship coming on the way that can deal with that. Okay. Oh, yeah. I want to join my laser ships together. Well, I'll be able to see any Kryn attack coming a long way away. With that. <coughs> with the sensors. Okay. Scorpius, what did you just finish? Oh we, oh, we can actually upgrade our influence. Cool. Oh, so we that last tech we got. Oh, okay. I see. So the tech we just got allows us to upgrade our influence stuff. Okay. That's I did not know that you could do that. The devs are in the process of nerfing sensor stacking. Well, they should. That's absur it's absurdly overpowered right now. <laughs> I mean, you see how ridiculous that is, right? That's just silly. All right. Um so morale's good here. Pops growing. This increases the yeah, influence. All right. So, upgrade that. Upgrade that more influence. Actually, we can go back to Dobranthus and upgrade this now, because now we can upgrade the influence stuff here, too. Alright, so temporarily turn off research. Back to production. There we go. Okay. And I think that's all of the planets for culture stuff. That's just a factor we haven't upgraded. How about Shark Tooth? Shark Tooth is upgrading its labs. Almost done. Shark Tooth is going to be a great... Um, Alright, that's the planet I was just on. Scorpius Thor is upgrading its labs. And yeah, that's good for right now. Okay, that looks good. We're still running a plus on here. Yeah, I'm sure that the devs will have to scan... will have to um, reduce a lot of stuff. It's still a new game. They'll have to figure it out. But by giving the players that much customization on ships, you're going to have some weird stuff. <laughs> 